Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our first deck of the day, which is going to be Esper Legends. We tried, we've tried this deck one time so far and I'm making a few changes. The biggest thing is sideboard. Uh, last time we played four Thief of Sanity and didn't really have, and with four Duress, four Negate, four Thief of Sanity, we just had too much stuff for control. We even had a Chromium. And we just didn't have enough for like aggro or just like a, a whole lot of different stuff in the metagame, you know, like our our sideboard wasn't very, um, uh, wasn't good against everything. It was kind of too too focused on just beating like one deck. So we got more removal. We got more defies, Cry the Canary, Moment of Craving, Profane Procession. We could just have like a, a, you know, bevy of different removal spells. Mortify in general, in particular, was a card that we didn't have last time. That I think that we missed. Uh, that that's going to be a good upgrade to have available. Ah, oh, sorry. And then we are also been trying Primeval's Glorious Rebirth with this deck. And unfortunately, I don't think the Primeval's Glorious Rebirth um, being seven mana. Even though like each time we got got to cast and resolve it, we were like winning the game. There's too many times where it was just kind of stuck in our hand and we were dying before. Uh, hopefully these extra removal spells help out. But I also want to try a Karn's Temporal Sundering instead. So, it's not as splashy. <clears throat> we don't uh, get to put a, a whole bunch of permanents into play with one card. But we get to take an extra turn and bounce something. And taking an extra turn when we have these Planeswalkers is quite valuable. I was also impressed with Izareth last time, so we got a second one in here, because this card did a lot of work for us. Uh, just being a 3-3 death touch was just pretty annoying for the opponents and everything, and then getting it back, and um, or getting other creatures back and everything. So, yeah, let's give this a try. So, Esper Legends. You like playing one Ritual of Soot and one Cleansing Nova? Yeah, we have the Urza's Ruinous Blasts that we're hoping to be our, our sweeper. Um, when you actually get to cast Blast, it's, you know, more valuable, but you don't always get to cast it. It's not the easiest to cast. Whoa. What did I do? I chose the wrong deck. Oh, I selected Esper taking turns? Oh, right. Well. Good game. I hate how this Esper taking turns deck. Um, whoa, not just cancel the whole thing or resign. I hate how that deck, um, because it has Nexus of Fate, it. Oh, was, at least we could have got like some gems. Because it has Nexus of Fate, it just pops up to the top. Um, even though it's like at the bottom in your in your deck part, and you know I haven't touched this deck in a while, and so. But it just pops up to the to the top. I don't like that. Okay, let's try the correct deck this time. Wrong Esper deck. We got to get to five wins. So we can get our thousand gold back. Yeah, see, this looks better. This looks better. <clears throat> Celtics Banner. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the chat. For Celtics Banner. With our opponent playing... 
the Citadel there, I was thinking they could be Esper Control and they were going to be Thought Erasuring us back. And I was going to be like, ooh, Thought Erasure us. So either we can discard two cards. I mean, I think we're perfectly fine discarding two cards, so. We need a burning gold emote. The, the thing is, is, if I draw some kind of planeswalker or creature or something, I don't really want this playcrafter killing my, killing whatever we draw. Or if we just discard two, la two of these lands, we'll be fine. We still have five lands. Let's like cast everything we got. Ah, thanks Gaffer. Saying thanks for being a fun and awesome streamer as I watch from Australia. Thank you. Hey, I, I actually went to Australia when I was 16. I went there for a tennis tournament. I like to play tennis. It's like a... Um, I don't know, some like couple week long thing where like a group of Americans from like age like 13 to 17, something like that. Went there and played against in different cities in Australia. It was a lot of fun. Alright, I guess we'll just take this Thought Erasure. Why not? Hmm. And y'all thought that we had too many lands. <laughs> So we visited it. We visited. I I don't think we visited Melbourne. So if I flip this, I'm just gonna decline. Oh, I guess I could draw a land, and then then I would have been all that. Yeah, activate Escanta. If we draw a land here. Show remorse. I'll show. <laughs> Which of course we did. Um, but we basically visited everything else. Uh, all the other major ones. Uh, I remember Sydney and Cairns. Um, and one other one that I can't think of the name that starts with a W. That was like half my life ago. Oh no! It's not gonna let me flip out Kansas now. I'll make them suffer. Perth? Okay. Did we get all the way over to Perth? You're not welcome here anymore. I don't think so. Alright, while Dovin would be good, I'm putting Dovin in the graveyard because we need to flip Escanta. Keep up the pace. Cool. But yeah, it was it was a ton ton of fun. Loved it. Didn't go with anybody that I knew. Um, just like, you know, met the people that were in our our group, like whenever I got there, kind of thing. It was a great experience. Oh, yeah. Man, 1965, we had great memory. Yeah. We had some weird pizza there in Australia. We had... Remember? Yeah, we were at... We were just, like, in our hotel room for the night. And we ordered, like, delivery pizza. And we just asked for your, your weirdest pizzas you had. They're most... You know. Um, we had a dingo pizza. Which... Dingo just tasted like Canadian bacon, basically. 
and we had a wombat pizza with barbecue sauce. Um, What's up, I was incorrect. Honey, that's what I Go did. Ahead and gloat. Oh, sorry, Salt Expander. Um, my bad. We need to move quickly. I guess. So, any recommendations for Roanoke for a first-time visitor is the question, and I guess it'd be of like. A master. Of I have constructed recommendations would be, two. I guess, of what. Yeah, there's there's nothing like special that you need to do in Roanoke, kind of thing. There's nothing like that. Um, as far as like places to eat, um, if it's if it's lunch, if you're at like lunchtime, there's a lunchtime Indian buffet downtown called Nawab, which is delicious. Um, but dinner time, if you like sushi. Dang. There's there's a place called uh, oh man, what's the name of the place? It'll come to me in a little bit. But there's an there's an all you can eat sushi restaurant where it's just twenty dollars all the time. But I mean, it's a it's a Japanese restaurant, but they also just have all you can eat sushi that you can just order at any time for twenty dollars. And I would certainly recommend going there. It's it's by Star City Games. It's up in the, the northern part of town. It's very close to SCG. No time for a break. Yeah, Jack Browns makes really good burgers. If you want burgers, Jack Browns is a good place to go. There's also a biscuit the company. The opponent, the sweeter the I think it may just be called the biscuit the company. It's kind of near downtown. That. Oh yeah, we're nowhere near dying from. What do you do? The one finished, three. As are you. Uh, for for breakfast that has huge biscuit sandwiches. They're very cheap. They're like th two, three bucks. I mean, it depends on, on what you get. They're anywhere from like one to four dollars, depending on what you get. Um, when most of them are like two or three dollars, and they're just huge sandwiches that fill you up. Uh, biscuit or Scratch Biscuit Company. That's what that's called. Scratch Biscuit Company. The man. Um, the sushi place, I just, I'm just blanking on it. It has a name that's like related to magic also. There's like a card with, that has like the same name. Oh wait, uh, Sakura, that's what it is, Sakura. It's like Sakura Tribe Elder. That's what it is. Nope, we're on our very first game of the day, <laughs> right here in Midnight Slayer. Uh, we took a, you know, had a little bit of time beforehand that we were talking and putting, you know, finishing the stack up and everything. So didn't actually got started a little late. So uh, first game of the day, haven't missed anything. I don't know what or if I need a sideboard here. I don't need, yeah. Oh yeah, I know that that's not a magic specific thing at all. No, I I know. I'm just saying that that that's how I you know remembered it because there was like a card in Magic that was secure also. Um. Uh, 
Hmm. I liked our first hand of six lands more. All right, we can try this. We got two lands, and as Kanta, that dang. I say hopefully that's that's what I was going to be finishing up with until our opponent already cast the duress. Was that hopefully our opponent does not duress away our as Kanta by the time we get to cast it. I assume we're a twenty-six land deck. Yeah. Binding Bell Haunt Fell Spectre. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? So, unfortunately, this is the only Tezzeret in the deck. So, we are out of Tezzerets. But, fortunately... Um... We do have Yogmoss Vile offerings that we'll be able to get it back with just fine. All right, so the Fell Spectre, it's just a it's just a one three, right? It doesn't do anything else. Oh, each time we discard a card, we lose two life. Okay, I guess that part's a little annoying. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? Uh, back. I don't know, just... There you go. Um, so I had a real fun stream the other day. If y'all don't know MTG Nerd Girl, she is an amazing streamer. Had an awesome weekend at the Mythic Invitational. Uh, decline. A couple weekends ago, she got top 16. If you're not giving her, if you're not following her, you should go give her a follow. All right, we got the lands, so we're good there. And our our battle of three three versus one three. We are winning. We are now currently losing the battle of 3 3 versus 1 3. <laughs> Ooh, are they going to sack the 1 3? No. Ow. Ooh, Bloodfast is a real card. We need to charge these up for the good draw step. I charge them up. See? Look at that. Good draw step. Dispelling phantasms. Take a creature and something else. Gain two life. die to my Kaya ultimate. They're not careful. There's I'm sure there's nothing they can do about it with the five cards they have in hand and with the creature that's on the battlefield. I'm sure there's nothing they can do about me ultimating this Kaya. Hmm. A little bit of a surprise there. I didn't think they were gonna be able to do anything. I didn't charge up my draw. I just drew another land again. <laughs> this is ar arguably a good card. Uh, stop passing it over so quick. I didn't get to charge up my draw. No, we drew another land.
Go ahead. You won't. Do it again. Pay two more life. All right, charge it up. Got to charge it up. Nice, Lazav. They got some one threes. We can we can fight this battle of one threes. Yep, put that land over there. I didn't I didn't charge it before, so that was definitely land. All right, so we can turn Lazav into an Izareth. And then we can have Izareth, or then we can have Lazav return Izareth. Yep. So we can turn Lazav into Izareth, and then. Well, I'm gonna do it first. Then, whenever if we would have attacked with Lazav, then we could have actually just brought Izareth back because it's this is named Lazav. So you can, we could have had them both in, in play, but of course we need to attack to get that trigger. Right, we got to charge this up. We're gonna have to get a, a real good one. No, well, nothing can block. Probably don't have any more removal in their hand. They're just sitting with five cards over there. Probably nothing. Well, that was a surprise. Thought for sure they had nothing. So maybe some more mortifies. I don't know. We have like the blasts also. Maybe just mortifies over cast down. Let's just do that. <laughs> I know we had so much mana. How could we lose? What you need you need cards to play with your mana. Nah. All right, in this game, we're going to just be stuck on two lands and maybe like three lands or four lands. We're probably never going to play these five mana cards. Ooh. Best draw besides land. already working. Good job, Escanta. You have been there? analyzed and found wanting. <laughs> I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. <laughs> Dovin is really arrogant. Library. I'm inspired by a good assault. So if Kaya minuses again, like Kaya just checks this, just checks this dove in kind of forever. So it's either Lyra or Mortify. If I disc if I discard Mortify, then Ixalan's Binding and Bloodfast, but especially Binding is is a problem. If I if we discard if we discard Lyra, then. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll just discard Lyra. I think it's something like real bad that could happen. It's not really anything bad that can happen. It's just. Yeah, we have a lot of things that can get Lyra back. Not only Izareth, we have Yagmas Vial Offerings. That if we draw a Vial Offering, we can you know, kill like Kaya and. Do I? I don't think I mortify the Fell Spectre though. It's the small things that matter. All right. Well, now I guess I'll mortify since I'm not able to Tezzeret, and we got a backup mortify. I heard you said your goodbyes already. Well, Lyra's gone. Nobody's perfect, even me. Let's see if our opponent plays anything better to mortify first, though. So that thing was going to make me discard a card at end step, so I guess I'll just mortify it. If I was going to have to discard a card anyway. Do you really think you can keep up with me? There is elegance in simplicity. Silent, obedient, perfect. Certainly considering just drawing a card with Tezzeret. But gonna make a 1-1 one, one here. We'll have, like... We'll be able to untap and draw a card. Like, just in case, like, my opponent makes me discard two cards. Like, Sometimes if they would have made me discard two cards. This isn't good enough. I like where we're at here with having Tezzeret on the battlefield. Fully for you. Cold logic will always win. And, you know, like, we're looking at three cards a turn, basically, between the, the card for Escanta, the card we draw, drawing another card with Tezzeret. It's the small things that matter. And basically all we need to do is, like, find, like, a Nurse's Ruinous Blast. Get rid of both of these things, or a Teferi, and have Teferi card advantage. Start getting rid of our opponent, or um, uh, the Karn's Temporal Sundering to take an extra turn would be a nice one. Don't try that again. Hey, Redgrave. Now I don't really like where we're at. Now that Tezzeret's gone. So much for me liking where we're at. You won. This You'll time. Pay for that.
Okay. Karn's good at getting card advantage. And just helping us hit land drops, which is uh, really good for Ascanta. The Sunken Ruin, just hitting more land drops. This will not deter me. Now I like where we're at by quite a bit. Now having a flip desk canta, having eight mana right now, we have a Karn in play, but um, yeah, we got some fun decks playing today. Got some different ones. This is still the first match of the day. Clearly, the we're an hour into the stream. Were mine. It's been a long match. There we go. Furnace Blast will work. The time has come. So, um, I, li I like keeping the land on top here because of Ascanta. I just want to keep hitting land drops uh, because Ascanta will fuel my hand and we'll be good there. Do not pity me. I will Funny. return. That's what I do. And Ascanta should be better than Kaya. We should be good here. Yep, glad we kept that land on top. I won't hide from the world. Any tuck longer. this binding. Yeah. Reverse! Sure they'll like binding my Teferi in a little while, but we'll find something by then. I guess Karn does make Kaya better also. We will meet again. That one's a little annoying. Got ten cards in exile right now. I think you said your goodbyes already. This will aid us. Alright, so Kaya's minus 5 can do 11 to us, but 11 is not lethal, and then we can gain life with Lyra. So as long as, yeah, with our opponent bricking here, that should finish them off. Alright. Took a while, but we ended up victorious. Even though it was not... Was not really an easy one, was not a fast one. Hard to say no to this because of Search for Ascanta. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, it's kind of too hard to say no to having Search for Ascanta, even though it's on turn three. Uh, being on the play. 
playing it on turn three is, you know, similar to playing it on turn two on the draw. Yeah, this is Lazav the Multifarious, is our avatar here. The blue black, uh, or I guess Demir, the Demir legendary creature. Great draw. Black mana. Let's just play the Escanta next, you know, like this turn. Great draw. All right, Arachnus mid range. Last draw was good. This one was good as well. That was a. About as good as we could could have hoped for with keeping Glacial Fortress, Glacial Fortress as an opener. Be able to curve Azkanta into Izareth. So keeping the Hollow Fountain on top because I want the fifth land, of course. But it does mean that we're gonna have to shock on turn five. I could have been riskier and you know tried you know discard it and try to find another land but that's it's just kind of risky hey mccarty hope work hope you're having a good day at work so far Good old Rafka Passion. Don't think our opponent was expecting that one. What? Oh, right. They needed to trigger theater. Alright, so we're going to go Graveyard with Rona. And I don't think I really need to play Teferi right now. Let's just get the Rona. Get a free card. That's a combo right there. As Kanta milling over your creature, Izareth bringing it back. That's a combo. All right, so Theater has a Bedevil. Let's take it back. Right, they're down to three. <laughs> it's sign spinning, not really working. Paid to listen to previous Twitch streams, YouTube podcasts, and listen to MTG related articles while getting to work out is awesome. Yeah, that's not a that's not a bad gig. Not a bad gig at all. Not a bad one at all. Do you listen at like one and a half speed? Or do you listen just like regular speed? I kind of, I kind of like listen to my podcast at one and a half speed. So we're playing against a Grixis mid-range deck. Where... What do we want to do? I don't think I really want Kaya. I think I do want more Mortifies. Oh, Profane Procession is awesome against Grixis. Let's get that in there. 
Regular speeds. <laughs> hey, boot! Thanks for gifting the sub out. And there you go, McCarty. Get that. Got that uh, sub now, so you can be part of our sub battle stream that we're gonna have on Sunday. That should be a lot of fun. Let's see. Hey, what's up, Eddie? I'm not sure how much I really want Urza's Ruinous Blast, to be honest. Just unclear. Of course, I could see Duress Negate being pretty good. Could also see my opponent having a bunch of Duress Negate. Let's, let's just trim one. Let's just go down to one Blast. I think this is fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's go with that. <laughs> You're watching the stream at work now, too? Cool. Have a good rest of the day at work. Hope it finishes it up well. And This would be basically... When I was teaching, this would be like right about the time that I'd be getting... That'd be like finishing up for the day. Normally. So, Boot, did you beat uh, Breath of the Wild? Or, or like, how much did you do in Breath of the Wild? I am, I am very, very close to having it 100% completed now. Um, yeah, like, once you beat uh, Ganon... Calamity Ganon, there's like a percentage on the world map that tells you like your percent of, of everything and and including like the the extras, which I, I got the the extras. I'm at like ninety nine point six seven percent right now. Oh no, Cory wouldn't let you take the switch to DC. Oh yeah. Kinda need that. Um. All right, thought erasure down. Got a hand of fives. I guess Thief of Sandy was a card that I could have thought of a little more. I don't know if. I mean, I could have had. So seeing Thief of Sandy and Freebooter, like maybe I want Moment of Craving. Or at least the extra cast down, at the very least. Hoping this Izareth, or like ho hoping they put a creature in my graveyard that can get back with Izareth, that'd be nice. Hey, Raft Passion. There we go. And Rona, two of them. All right, boot. I'll see you later. All right, so attacking with Izareth, so we can basically just trading Izareth for Raph because Raph can block Thief. Uh, it's not great for me against removal, to be honest. 
But either way, like if I just sat back, if they just killed the Izareth, uh, you know, either way, I just have a 3 3 on the battlefield. Same vulnerabilities to removal, basically. Um, but really, we need to draw a land and then cast Urza's Ruinous Blast here. That's what we need to happen. So we need our opponent to just not have any removal spells or discard spells or counter magic or anything. That's just not. It's not very realistic that our opponent won't have anything. Whatever card they took from me, for example, is better than Wrath, Compassion, and Rona, Disciple of Gix. All right, so now we need. Now we cannot cast Blaster Vile Offering without being removed. So now we need we still need the land. And we're gonna need to be able to play Lyra Dawnbringer. That's what we need land drop and then play Lyra and have Lyra survive. Be same same time as always for my stream. Three to ten. Uh three to ten Eastern. Just the same normal time as always with streaming. So yeah, you get done at seven, so you can join in after that. Normal stream time. Oh, man, our opponent's taking so long. Wanna, we're like very close to conceding. Okay. So this is what I have right here. I'm going to take out Rona for a moment of craving. <laughs> yeah, we drew basically all of our five drops. Drew six of them there. Our opponent got us with the Kite Sail Freebooter Thief of Sanity combo, but we're going to be on the play now. I got one extra removal spell in. And. Uh, hand's not. not great. We'll see what we draw into. Oh, I. Hmm. Well, this black source does let us cast the Izareth, but let's look for something else. Um, Sway, I just don't, I don't have, I just don't know very much information about the, about that divorce settlement or or anything so i i have no you know hot opinions about it you know that's like a you know that's a headline grabbing thing grabbing thing that getting 36 billion dollars in a divorce settlement and not being happy with but there it's very possible that she has the right not to be happy with that i just don't i don't know Oh, I, I probably should just... I should just play the island here so we can have Mortify for the theater and then untap and have four mana. I'm just wasting this turn. <laughs> Could have played July. Um, 
which would get coiled, but... Am I even going to want to mortify theater, or do I want to mortify this spawn of mayhem? I think I want to mortify theater. We'll have them exile their top card. Good. Get that Thief of Sandy out of here. And then destroy that. So we're really hoping for this land. Getting to play Teferi. Ah, uh, that's not good. Hmm. So, I mean, I could take the t Contempt to try to have Teferi resolve and everything. Because, like, our opponent does not have blue mana for Nicol Bolas right now. But Nicol Bolas is, of course, the better card. Basically, we need our, our Teferi and this Thought Erasure to beat Nicol Bolas and Contempt and Spawn of Mayhem, and that's really tough. Not bad. You can take this. So I'm just playing it safe, just getting rid of the Nicol Bolas, maybe... Um, you know, even though the Contempt answers to Fairy, it just, you know, answers it one for one, and that's it. Um, but now we can Mortify Spawn. We'll have Izareth get eaten by a Lava Coil. We'll have Shalai get eaten by a Lava Coil. I don't want that thing to trigger on their turn, so just killing that now. Trust me, not so fast. So we'll worry about how to deal with that in a little while. That's how it was meant to happen. So, we're not in the best spot. You know, we just have the two lava coils covered with these two, but they have two other cards in hand that we don't that we don't know about, don't have covered and they have spawn of mayhem. And you know, it looks like they Looks like they never did draw the, the blue mana, so maybe taking Contempt would have been the thing to do. But it was just kind of risky, because Nicol Bolas would just destroy us. That second spawn of Mayhem our opponent drawing was kind of unfortunate that we didn't get to tick up to Fairy and had to tuck instead. Yeah, we're not in the worst spot. We need to stop drawing lands and start drawing spells. Both us and our opponent was sitting at, were sitting at four lands. And that, you know, drawing a lot more lands. <clears throat> I assume these are other removal spells. They haven't been casting them. Like, they're not lands. They're not playing lands. So I assume our opponent just has more removal spells, which is not good for us, of course. So they have like moment of craving. They have to have like moment of craving, right? I 
I don't think the opponent just forgot first strike, right? I know our opponent's saying oops, but I kind of think that that's just a bluff. I think they're just bluffing. If they have if they have moment of craving, they would just moment of craving plus coil and then attack, right? Yeah, so <clears throat> basically decide that if since they yeah, I guess they did just forget first strike. Never mind. I guess they did. Cuz I guess if they did have moment of craving, they would have just double cast those pre-combat. Likely. What does our opponent have? They're not playing lands. They're just not playing spells either. There's not even going to coil the Izerath or anything. Oh, that's true. They are missing their blue source. That that's true. So they could just be sitting with blue cards in hand, like Viva Sandy, Nickel Bolas, that kind of stuff. Or they could have had discard spells where I have zero cards in hand. We have two Izerets and two Lyras in our deck. Got them both here. All right, I'm just going to attack with both. No, I, I don't expect my opponent to have any sweepers. It doesn't mean that they don't play them, but I don't expect it. Because, you know, who knows what our opponent has in their deck. The only sweeper that would they would, could realistically have would be like Star of Extinction, but with the creatures they have in their deck, don't expect that at all. In case of Bolas keeping Isolated Chapel in hand. Hey Jen, good evening. Opponent really did just forget about the first strike with Lyra, and that definitely helped. And we are now 2 0. Oh. Like Grixis cannot sweep above 2 toughness or 3 CMC, it's depressing. Well, they, they can, you just have to work for it. You have a few options. You have Star of Extinction that, you know, is a great sweeper. It costs seven mana, but it's a it's a very powerful sweeper. You have Phyrexian Scriptures, which is a sweeper for everything, but it's an enchantment that you have to wait a turn so you can see it coming and everything. You have uh, Gates Ablaze that would require playing a whole lot of gates in your Grixis deck. But that's an option. And you have then you have like if you count blue as a sweeper color then um Blue would give you River's Rebuke, I suppose, but that's not permanent. It's really just a mass bounce spell. Mox Amber would certainly be useful if you have 
a good amount of cheap legends. You need a decent amount of like two mana legends at least. One mana legends would be the most beneficial. Very glad our opponent attacked there. And we got four power off off of their battlefield for this Galta. No Raph, while Raph is our best play, I don't really want to shock. So just gonna go ahead and you know not shock. I hope you don't mind if I enjoy this. No, I don't think scriptures can really be relevant now. Oh, what a combo. I wish I would have tucked that Rhythm of the Wild right about now. That's a combo. Big problem with scriptures is <clears throat> enchantment removal is pretty... It's kind of everywhere, even main deck. So, like, against Sultai, you play your scriptures, and then they have... Then after you play scriptures, they have uh, Vivian to destroy your scriptures, and so, like, the first, the first chapter just doesn't do anything, really. Yeah, Galta is a problem. For how that went, of course, I wish I would have just talked to this Rhythm of the Wild, but... But still, definitely a plan that I am considering Not doing just right a now. Gadget, which but is talking Rhythm of the Wild. I'm not ready for this quite yet. And that will be will be the play. If we find Urza's Ruinous Blast, that should end the game. Oh, Blast doesn't exile Galta, but it does exile everything else. I wouldn't mind drawing a land either. You know what? I'm not done yet. Okay, that's a good card. That's a good card. I'm inspired by a good assault. I'll take the Carnage Tyrant, kill the Galta. That's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, Dr. Coulter says, hey, did you all see the Landfall Proliferate Elf? I did not. <laughs> Yogmoss Vile Offering. Destroy a creature and get a creature back. Do you think five mana for a Carnage Tyrant that is also Chupacabra? A Ravenous Chupa Tyrant? Or a Ravenous Carnage Tyrant? For five mana. Killing the Galta. Do you think that's pretty good? That's probably pretty good. Alright, let's get these blasts in. Um, Mortifies in. Profane Procession in. Kai's basically only getting rid of Land of War Elf. Rona too small. I don't love Dovin, but I also don't like 
we just added two fives. That's 12 fives. That's too many. We'll, we'll get rid of the six. That'll help out our curve. And... I guess maybe I'm cutting one vial offering to fit Mortify in just to, to help our curve since we have the, the Blast in instead now. Lazav basically never comes out against anybody. Lazav's just like a necessary part of the deck. Need the two mana legend. It's just a necessity. All right, we need white mana. We got the surveil on two. Uh, yeah, most every deck with white will have Lyra, not Shalai. I have a lot of decks with white that do not have Shalai. I want to look for Fifth Land and Urza's Ruinous Blast. Tesseract does a good job of staying alive. When we're when you're playing the legendary sorceries, you need legendary creatures or planeswalkers that you can untap with. And Tesseract. Well, yes, Tezzeret's slow. It's slow to, like, kill somebody, but it, it does a good job of staying alive. You know, having, like, ticking up to six loyalty immediately and making a blocker. And so that's pretty valuable as far as... Hmm. That's pretty valuable as far as, you know, untapping with... The Yawgmoth's Vile Offering or Urza's Ruinous Blast is concerned. It's just another strength to Lazav. It's the, like, when you get to a later game and your opponent's killing your stuff, you're struggling casting these, these sorceries, you can... You can have seven mana and just play Lazav and then Vile Offering back to back. So I can turn Lazav into Wrath Compassion. I think that's what I'm going to do. I guess that's not what I'm doing. Can we just draw land? Yeah, our opponent really did, had no no need of, of activating that creature there. We're at a pretty low life. How this thing goes is up to you. Draw and fire. Which of course is not good. Still need to draw land. Yes, you do not correct, you do not need to actually kill a creature to play vile offering. You just have um, you have to do the first part. You have to put up or I guess either one you can do either because you can yeah so basically you don't have to do this part you know you can end search and you don't have to do the second part so you could just cast vile offering and do nothing with it if you if you want not bad for a mouse 
But another strength of Lazav is when it's on the battlefield as a 1-3, a lot of times people like won't use a removal spell on Lazav. And they'll just let it sit there. And as long as it can sit there, then you can cast your sorceries. You know, you just have to have something on the battlefield and something that looks something like Lazav that looks um, unassuming can be strong to have. Hey, what's up, James? <laughs> Lazav is French for Lazav. Or for oh, the Zav. It's a beautiful Sorry. day for chaos. <laughs> Maybe I'll hang on to these. Lazav. If that's all right with you. Could flash in Escanta, absolutely. Another spellbreaker is really annoying here. I'm gonna have to block with. I can take out one, but then I'm going to have to double block the other. So now, Raph is going to die, unfortunately. Yeah, flashing in Lyra. Always work out how you want. <clears throat> Alright, so I was basically seeing like what they did here, because I was there was a good chance I was gonna be mortifying the rhythm of the wild. Depending on what my opponent did. But now we're just going to mortify this Growth Chamber Guardian. But now that they have two rhythms, mortifying one doesn't make a, a ton of sense. Dang. Looking for Urza's Ruinous Blast. No attacks. If I activate as Kanta, you know, I don't want to shock, really. And so, like, if we activate as Kanta, we don't really have any mana to play anything else. So let's just get Izareth on the battlefield and have another Ascanta going. We're not looking so bad here. All we have to do is find Urza's Ruinous Blast and we win. We haven't seen one yet, right? No. We've gone through 18 cards so far. Activating this as Kanta. Surrounded by lesser minds. <laughs> Should help us get there. Okay. That's scary. That is scary. Ooh, they're not giving it haste. Okay, good. They didn't give it haste. Shit. 
You're doing me a favor. It will likely be... I, I don't have... If I had one more mana, I would activate Escanti here and just see if we hit the Urza's Ruinous Blast. We need one more mana. We need nine mana to, to activate and flip. Alright, let's kill that. I was gonna say, we have four of these in the deck. We gotta find one eventually. Gone through That's us going through half the deck. And I'll just keep this on top. Uh, decline. Yep, that exiles everything. And Esper Legends is now three and O. Oh. Hey, that's a card that could be an Esper Legends. Need a card against tokens. Yeah, using Lazav as my avatar, and Lazav was really good that game. Russ. <laughs> yeah, flashing in Lyra. Flash, yeah, flash, uh, flashing in Lyra in response to all those attackers. Earlier, that was a awesome play for us. Nice, James. Got your Harry's refill. Awesome. Ah, uh, multiply for the opponent. That's not good. Yeah, if y'all don't know about our our deal with Harry's, you can get. If we we need nine more people to sign up before we do a twelve hour stream, but it's just an awesome awesome deal. You get their starter set with their uh, razor, like their the razor blade, you know, which is like the handle plus the German engineered five blade razor head and set of shaving cream. All of that for only three dollars, free shipping. How it works to get that sent to you for just three bucks is to head over to Harry's with the there we go with that referral link there. Sign up for a starter set. Uh, get the subscription as well. The subscription is cancelable anytime, so you're not priced into making any future purchases with it. That takes five dollars off. It's usually thirteen, so it goes down to eight. And then you use the coupon code Todd Stevens MTG, and you get another five dollars off. So it's just all the way down to just three dollars. So great way to support the stream. And just like how we had the 12-hour stream yesterday, we're doing another 12-hour stream whenever we have nine other people sign up for Harry's. So check them out. Yeah, our opponents got plenty of lands over there. So they, like, discovery ditched a land in a cast down and drew a land. I do just want I do want lands. I guess I could play Lazav first and see if we hit a three mana or cheaper creature. Which I guess the only one would be Rona. So we'd have to have exactly Rona on top, but if we had exactly Rona on top here, we could have just gotten it for free. We'll see if we have exactly the one copy of Rona. Okay, we did not. Oh yeah, I don't think our opponent's keep was bad, necessarily. So if they had five land duress discovery, I don't think that's, that's not that bad of a keep. It's just their deck didn't help them out too much. So remember, I could just be playing the Vile Offering here and just putting Karn into play. I could be doing that. 
your loss will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. This is just a small you don't actually have to destroy genius. anything, so I could have just spent, you know, play this as a five mana Karn. Which, if we have another turn where if we don't have anything to do, kind of thing, I, I could see myself doing that, but we've had stuff to do. Uh, let's just, let's just take up. I constantly seek to innovate. I am not going to sit this one out. We're not doing a 12-hour stream on Sunday. We are doing a the sub battle stream on Sunday. It'll be normal normal stream time from 3 to 10. It's just all day instead of me playing leagues, will be just uh, me playing matches against y'all here whoever like the people that are in the channel, all the the subscribers and stuff. So It'll be a fun day, so that's what we'll be doing on Sunday. So I guess I want a bunch of duresses and negates. I guess. I mean... I should probably be pretty prepared for Thief of Sanity. That's probably the only card that I need to be scared of. I may don't want dresses. We'll have like some negates. I just don't want. I don't think I'd want eight discard effects. So this is sixty one. Take out the Temporal Sundering. In this kind of matchup, Temporal Sundering may be a little bit more of a win more kind of card. Like if we actually have our Planeswalkers out and everything like that, and, and we can untap and spend our six mana to cast a Temporal Sundering, like we're probably going to be winning anyway. We're not really... Like the games we're going to be losing are probably not going to be where Temporal Sundering would have helped us. Alright, discard, discard. Ooh. Teferi. Hitting the bin. I was expecting Ascanta there. So do they have... Okay, they do not. I was like, do they have turn one, discard, turn two, discard, and then turn three, Thief of Sanity? Because that would be kind of rough. Ooh, they did not hit the land drop. Taking the Mortify in case they did just go land Thief of Sanity. I wanted that card there. Destruyas supporting with Quip. Thanks, Destruyas. You are gonna love that toothbrush. It is amazing. 
Oh, I don't have I don't have the right rats. I don't have the legendary creature in play. So we are two people away with Quip to do another 12-hour stream. Also, so we're not that far away with Harry's or with Quip there. My wife has been meaning to get one. There you go. Your wife and Andy have been getting, meaning to get one. Yeah, they are they are just awesome. Really do recommend it. So like. It's kind of weird, like, this is... I'm, I'm not even joking here, it's, this is kind of weird, but... I honestly, like, look forward to brushing my teeth every day now. Which is... A little weird, but... Um, yeah, like, before... I don't know, I'd, like, kind of brush my teeth, you know, I'd brush my teeth... Like, once a day, for the most part, as long as I, like, remember and all that kind of stuff, and... Now I'm like, ooh, let, let's go brush. I want to go brush my teeth. That sounds fun. Those nice, those nice. I know my responsibility. Soft, uh, Hold sonic vibrations. Ball. It's not like your, your dad's, electric toothbrush that was like a jackhammer. <laughs> kind of thing. I guess I should be shocking in there so I can activate as Kanta. I like where we're at though. I, I mean, we're fine. Hurry! And I'll just activate as Kanta now because I'm going to be untapping it. Those are some cool cards. So where can you see what special events are going on for Arena? They, I believe there's a schedule somewhere. I, I don't know exactly where to, to find that except for just Google searching, you know, Arena schedule kind of thing. You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm not a ton of help there, but somebody in chat probably has a good idea. There you go, inversed. Has he covered? Look at all this, me. <laughs> I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. So making a one-one in case our opponent has another Eldest Reborn, another way to make us sacrifice or something. I think next turn I'll draw a card with Tezzeret. I may have to. Like I don't really want to, but I may have to um, tuck this. Eldritch Reborn if I can't find a Mortify. I mean, what's the best thing they can get? A Karn? Not really anything they can get. I mean, the Doom Whisperer back after I kill it here. So I want to keep taking up Teferi to have ultimate for the next turn. Da bears. Da bears. Sorry about your playoff game. I've, man, I don't, I don't even know the the guy's name, but that Chicago Bears kicker. Somebody feels so bad for missing that field goal, and. Let's skip to the good part. And everything, and I know how this Cody ends. Parkey. That's it. That's who it is. Hey, we found it. Oh, I should be flashing in as Kanta, shouldn't I? While I'm flashing in Raph, could have flashed in the Escanta. Yeah, I know. He's always been a, 
a very solid kicker and everything and just missed that or like you know had that one real bad day and hey what's up Zerf? going good we are doing awesome with esper legends here Let's take the land drop. Land drops are good. I don't do this lightly. We are three and zero, and we have ultimated. Oh, it's a fairy. After. After we're up a game, looks like we're going to be 4 0 on to the final boss already. Oh, he was only 23 out of 30 last year? Oh, I thought he was better than that. But still, I can. I don't know. I just sympathize with, with the guy. You know, he just. I'm a Steelers fan, and we had our problems for sure as well of winning a lot of or losing a lot of very close games that were winnable. And we just gave our kicker like a four year, $15 million deal before this season, and then he was like, you know, an all pro and everything, and then suddenly. Couldn't make a field goal. All right. Four and O. Oh. There we go. Get those final boss emotes in the chat. As for Legends, doing its thing. What's my favorite best of three standard deck? That's tough. I think right now, you know, it's something that changes quite a bit, but I have to say right now, probably my favorite is Quasi Dupla Ooze. It's either that or Grixis Discard. Probably my two favorites. this jade light all right no jade light they have a branch walker but there's a find finality which i probably need to take the find finality or wait maybe i don't maybe i can go kaya tick up maybe if i take branch walker are they going to really just play find i guess we'll see they spend all their mana on find this turn they could you know cast find then branch walker I could also see them not doing that. If they don't do that, then I can play Kaya. Okay. Gonna hostage take the wild growth. Ooh, taking the land of war. Interesting. Didn't see a door, so I left myself in. Funny, that's what I do. So if they get to explore. <sighs> they would get to kill Kaya. Better at dodging. Hmm.
Want something banished? Funny. All right, so That's plan is. They have both of these attack Kaya. I cast down Kai. I cast down the hostage taker. And they get their land off back, but it's summoning sick. Try that if again. I would have killed the taker during I my turn. You. I could have killed the taker during my turn and then exiled the hostage taker. But then they would have had the Lanwar Elf be able, like, both of those would have been able to attack and kill Kaya. You know, they missed land drop. Sorry. We need to move quickly. Let's get that land war elf out of there. So Kaya ended up <clears throat> Kaya ended up um you know really messing with fine finality. Only time will tell. And also exile trading one for one with the land war elf. Just overall doing some good work. Hostage take the Rona, but now they don't have a hostage taker for Lyra. I'm sure I'm not going to cast the Kaya, but whatever. Hmm. I guess Tezzeret gives us the most advantage. I'm going to play Lyra. <laughs> this deck is sweet. Ugh, no land. Even if they kill Shalai here and get to attack in for a bunch, I think it's still good to um, good to attack. So they get to cast cards with Rona. They exit the top card that they exiled was a land. They don't get to cast that. Ah, just can't get our sixth mana. So, if we would get the six man, I would use Karn's Temporal Sundering to bounce the Rona. Of course. But I guess I'm going to just throw a Sacrificial Teferi out here. Okay. Yeah, I was going to I was gonna tuck the Rona, just give them one last card, and just attack with both of my creatures. Just attack for nine. Just, you know, send the Teferi out to die. All right, blasts are coming in. My creatures aren't as good. We don't know if we don't know how much um, hostage shaker they want to keep or anything like that. Wakaya did some good work for us there. We were on the play. Overall, I think Kaya is pretty overrated in this matchup. 
I think that was like about as good as we could do with Akaya. Noxie, for what, what, you're going to have to be a little more specific. You say, what would you side in versus Esper for what deck? What deck are you talking about? Also, don't really like Dovin. Rona's honestly not that bad. I may get Rona back. I want to negate. And yeah, we'll take Rona back. The current deck? Oh, well, you just bring in duresses and negates. Yeah, like against control, you just bring in duresses and negates. I don't know if there's anything else to bring in. I don't think there is. I think the rest of the remo I think it's just like removal spells besides that. Okay, so we're gonna see if see if we get to fire off Inurza's Ruinous Blast. This is our best card in the matchup. Gets rid of everything except for Vivian. Well, you would certainly side out Urza's Ruinous Blast. I would take out Lyra also. Those are the first things out. I know getting getting through eight eight cards is kind of tough. Like eight cards to take out, but those are the first things out. Like maybe Shalai also. Kind of like all these cards that we've drawn. These would go out against Esper. Opponent didn't play a land there, so <laughs> dang it. I was gonna say they're a black mana away from even casting the contempt. So just going with the thought erasure didn't make all the sense, but Oh yeah, cer certainly knowing what to side sideboard out is important. It's a good question. It's I would have to you know like look at the deck and everything. More. But I mean, oh you have cast down, so like a couple cast down, a couple ruinous blast, a couple lyra, a couple shalai. That's that's eight right there. There you go. There's eight for four duress for negate. Does this Jade Light just hit us five time hit us five times to kill us? Or do we get to untap? We've had so much interaction. The attack didn't really seem very worth it. All right. Going three for wanting themselves just to kill the Dawnbringer. Okay. All 
We can have Lazav turn into a, a Lyra Dawnbringer as well. But right that's it. Schedule. GG's. Ah. Twenty one hundred gold. So we wasted if you, if you were here for that whole league, we wasted the thousand gold because I accidentally joined with the wrong deck. And so we really paid two thousand gold for that league. <laughs> so we needed that five wins to get us our extra hundred gold. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so Esper Legends was pretty good. I mean, if you just put a... I mean, this is just a, a good way to win games of Standard. Throw a... Like, basically, if you're not playing a whole lot of 1 and 2 drops and being really aggressive, and if you're trying to play a lot of cards that cost 3, 4, and 5 mana, if all those cards are rares and mythics, you're probably going to do pretty good. And that's just what we have here. We just have a deck filled with rares and mythics, for the most part. And, you know, we do pretty good because of that. So, yeah, very good league. Um, yeah, all the cards, we basically had all of our cards, all of our cards were doing stuff. Didn't do a ton with Rona, but I like having Rona in the deck. Um, certainly played matches like where our opponents, you know, like against Esper, for example, like they thought Erasure away, like a Searcher's Canta or Mortify it or whatever. And when we have five mana, we can play Rona for three, exile the Escanta from our graveyard, then cast the Escanta. You know, that's that's really nice. Or even later later on, if you have like seven mana, play it and play a Karn from your graveyard or whatever. Um, eight mana, one of these things. It's it's certainly a really good late game card, and it can also just fill the curve as just being like a three mana two two when you need it to be. So I like that. I, I definitely liked our sideboard more. I liked having more removals. I really liked having access to these Mortifies. The Mortifies were awesome for us. That was certainly helpful of just having more removal. That wasn't just before I just had a couple cast downs and Ruinous Blasts, really. Um, didn't ever get to do anything with Karn's Temporal Sundering. But, but yeah, good league. All right. Uh, Izareth was... was pretty clutch for us. I mean, it's just 3 mana, 3-3 three, three Death Touch is a solid card. We got to trade with bigger creatures sometimes, a few times, and um, yeah, it just it fills the curve and everything. It was it was definitely a solid card for us. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching Esper Legends, and I'll see you for the next video.